Hey guys, Silent ZL here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix with me. So today there is actually an update to the game. Um, and here it is, there are some notifications. So it's telling you thank you for playing Pokemon Cafe Mix. In order for players to enjoy the puzzles even more, Pokemon Cafe Mix has made the following adjustments. So they adjusted like the difficulty of certain um, stages. I'm not too sure why there's such a big number here. Maybe it's within their own company's um, registrations. Uh, but we don't have stages this huge. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it might be a typo in their part. Reduce the weight of Munchlax. So yeah, if you notice that sometimes when we drag Munchlax around the screen, it might be a bit difficult. Yeah, mainly because the weight of the icon is a lot heavier um, they wanted to be more realistic as compared to the actual Pokemon's weight I suppose um, expanded the range in which the gimmicks are cleared so I guess uh, like the chestnuts and all this have a larger surface area now you can target on um, so that your icon skills and megaphones will do their job so, players will be notified with an effect if the Pokemon they select is not good for the order. So, okay, um, it gives us a bit more of a, I guess, a brave front on selecting Pokemon that are not actually recommended by the game itself. So, maybe that might be good in the long run. As long as Pokemon icon is not moved, just having the icon no longer you. Oh, that is such a great update right there. You know, sometimes when you accidentally tap onto one icon and you let go of it, you just waste a move. That is really a bother. Adjusted parts of the tutorial. Huh. I guess we will never see this since we are no longer new players. <laughs> Alright, then there is another notification right here. Um, if players obtain the same number of stars, the player who obtained the stars the first will rank higher in the Grand Prix. So this is mostly all updates for the Grand Prix. They are just balancing things, along, uh, balancing things out. Players will not tie if they have the same number of stars. So that's pretty good. And I guess one of the reasons why my main account on my Nintendo Switch ended up ranking lower than expected, you know, because of this rectification. So in a Grand Prix, the upper limit on the number of stars that can be obtained is triple nine. Huh. I didn't know that is such a thing, but okay. So yeah, we apologize for not providing an explanation or a way for our users to confirm the above conditions. Therefore, we are taking the following measures. Um, for players who rank second or below with 999 stars obtained, we will offer acorns an amount of the difference between the winner's number of obtained acorns. Wow, that is really generous of them. But sadly, I will never gain that because I am not that insane to play <laughs> triple nine stages. So yeah, this will be applied uh, to Grand Prix that were held during the following time frame. Okay. So yeah, it's not triple nine stages, but rather you know to obtain triple nine stars. So each stage, well, if you are playing all the single star given stages, then yes, it's triple nine stages. So <laughs> let's see how far I ranked on this account. Oh, fifth! Wow. Okay, so it didn't really drop that far. Uh, on my Nintendo Switch account, I kind of ranked twenty four. Maybe because I didn't play as much, or maybe because um, most of the stages that I played, I was offline. As unlike the mobile phone app here, where it's constantly on the internet. So I guess that's the disadvantage of a Nintendo Switch account player. So wow, 100 stars. Congrats to Cosmo. That's his Japanese name. So Alright, then the next round of Grand Prix has begun for me. So let's do this as usual. Um, let's see if we can get someone better. Oh, Dragonite, yeah. Gotta level up that big boy. Alright, we have to use Squirtle. I mean, wait, let's just take a look at the 
special card so we still need to use Dragonite's Cafe uh, always pay attention to when the card expires so currently when I'm recording it's the 7th of August so technically we've got five days left so let's let's try to use Dragonite for this instead Alright, Dragonite. Is it gonna notify us that it's a bad choice? Huh, apparently it didn't. Alright, let's go with this. That took a while. Wonder why it didn't respond as fast. Okay. 40,000 score and popcorns. I think Dragonite might be able to do this. Uh... Okay, so we have to uncoat the acorns. What in the world is with this bug though? Hmm. Alright. Let's see. Can we... Yeah, let's get the acorns uncoated first. Alright. There we go. What's with Charmander going around? So let's do Charmander. Okay, now that we've got all of them uncoated, let's go ahead and start destroying the cheese and of course charging up the skill icon if possible there we go squirtle let's get rid of the acorns that are currently red charmander okay so dragonite Alright, so we've got our skill. Hmm. I don't think we will have enough time to wait for another skill icon to appear, so we're just gonna destroy as much as we can right there and then. Hmm. I don't know. Is this a good idea? We couldn't destroy. Oh, uh, I think we might have did it wrongly yeah we're gonna have to retry the first stage is always retriable so let's just keep doing this until we get it done okay so i switched out to squirtle because i was really struggling with uh dragonite i guess dragonite just isn't the the guy for the job Alright, let's see. Okay, I managed to get all the old ones. Charmander. Okay, destroying as much of the cheese as possible. Gathering EV icons for the score. Fantastic. Let's do this. Can we destroy as many of the popcorn kernels? Hey. Alright, let's see. Squirtle? That's a lot of Squirtle though. Okay. Maybe Eevee for the score. Lots of Charmander. Let's just power up the skill. Alright, and this should be it. That took a while. <laughs> Alright, so this stage is definitely one that you need to use the um, recommended Pokemon. Definitely can't use Dragonite on this. Uh, so yes, avoid the same mistake that I went through. <laughs> okay. Let's see what is next. Uh, I'm not going to risk this level. So we're going to go with the recommended one because this is a two star stage. And if we fail this stage, um, we have to use the 900 acorns to retry um, with three additional moves. So that's just not worth it in the long run. Oh, okay. So it's this level. So just have to gain as many skill icons as possible and of course we want to destroy the honey to get more icons available 
Alright, and let's destroy the pumpkins first. Okay, let the honey slowly spread. Alright, we want to destroy the honey at the bottom. You know, just in case um, it spreads too much onto the icons that we have below. Okay, we've got our new icon for the chestnuts. Alright, so we just need to get one more icon, you know, just to destroy the honey in the center lane. So let's try and destroy all the honey in the left corner. Okay, can we do this? Okay, that's fine. Alright, let's gather as many as possible. And oh, we missed out on one. Could have ended one step earlier, but that's okay. Alright, there we go. Definitely not a level that you can use Dragonite on. <laughs> Alright. Got our stars. Our guests are totally satisfied. Look at those happy faces. Alright, and on to the regular stage. Strangely enough. Look for other cafes to join. Once enough cafes have joined, the Grand Prix will start. What? You mean there are not enough players? Oh, that's just horrible. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. Oh, is it because I have not played the regular levels? Oh, they don't count invitation levels as star earning levels anymore. Huh. I don't know. Let's try clearing this level first. Then we can take a look at the results. Oh, Charmander. Charmander actually destroys things to the right. So maybe we can use Dragonite. Hopefully it's not a right side focus stage. Because Dragonite destroys things to the left. Or is it the right? Oh no, it's to the right, so the same direction as Charmander. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so I don't see any of the tomatoes and the chestnuts and the pumpkins, so I guess the cheese are blocking the way. Ah. Okay, so let's start destroying the cheese. Definitely want to cover as much area as possible. Um, Dragonite seems to have the most icons right now. Okay, Jigglypuff. Gotta really learn how to spread out the icons though. Oh no, this is not looking good. Okay, Squirtle. Uh, more Squirtle, I suppose. Okay, Dragonite. Okay, so with Dragonite skill, you can just destroy the whole row of cheese. And there we go, that's what we want. Um, okay, so the main thing is the pumpkins, they are going to be a problem. Uh, we're going to have to start pushing the tomatoes in though. Okay, we're having a problem there. You guys know I'm terrible at rounding up tomatoes into the baskets uh, there we go we got one in can we get two more oh I got three okay let's see maybe there we go we can get a few of the chestnuts along with the pumpkins okay let's see uh, Charmander Okay, I got a tomato in. Hmm, this is not looking good. Okay, can we get more? Alright. Yeah, this is not looking good. They have really made it. Um, 
very difficult for you know other Pokemon that are not recommended to clear the level. Okay, let's just go with I don't know. Yeah, let's just go with Charmander. Okay, Charmander. Maybe because the the other time I was struggling very badly with um clearing the cheese in the first few rows. So the range of Charmander is definitely smaller than Dragonite. Okay. Jigglypuff. Okay, so let's make use of this time to destroy the chestnuts and the pumpkins. Okay, that was pretty okay. Um, yeah, we don't really have to destroy the cheese though. So the tomatoes have not appeared yet. So I think it's mainly because they're all stuck in the last three areas of, you know. Okay. Alright, so chestnuts are done. Pumpkin is almost done. So let's take this time to set the, the rest of the stuff free Pikachu Alright, we do need to get the score as well Okay, let's use the megaphone to set the tomatoes free Okay, that wasn't too bad Let's destroy the icons to let the tomatoes drop Right, pretty fantastic. Push this in. That's it. So much easier with the recommended Pokemon. That's kind of a problem if you're gonna have to clear missions for the card. Since usually the event Pokemons are never recommended to be used. I hope the game developers fix that problem. Oh, there it is. So we had to clear a regular stage to see the ranking. Wow, we're really far in the bottom. Huh. But wait. Four stars? Did I get four stars? Oh no, I lost count. <laughs> okay, whatever. Let's keep going. Hmm. 30,000. Okay, um, the problem is the popcorn kernels are in bubbles, so they do float out, which is what we don't really want. Um, if possible, we like to keep them trapped inside, but the problem is we need a gap um, to send the skill icon in to destroy them, so... Yeah, let's slowly destroy our way in, I suppose. Alright, lots of snubble. Let's just gather them all. Maybe there we go. Destroy bit by bit, I suppose. Machino. Okay, maybe just one hole. With this, maybe we can do this. Yeah. So that's the ideal. Or oh, rather, the idea. Mm, okay, let's get more of them. Maybe we can destroy. Yeah. Okay. We've got them in. Uh oh. One of the kernels has kind of escaped. Alright, it fell back in. Alright, that's, that's cool. Okay. Now that we have destroyed most of the problem, let's just set free the icons. Okay, can we de get them all? Yeah, there we go. Woo, in time, just in time. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I was pretty lucky. Alright. Hey, 
Hey, Minchino gets the friendship bonus. So it's our chance to gain three stars. I guess this is probably the advantage of um, the Grand Prix. When you have more friendship bonus, you gain stars a lot quicker. Alright, let's go with Barbasol. We want to try and attain this uh, times three bonus. Uh oh. Okay, so the basket is a tiny one at the end. Uh, we have to get the tomatoes moving, teleported, I suppose. So um, let's clear away. At the same time, we need to get vegetables. Okay, bubble saw. There's a lot of bubble saw here. Mm, slurp half. Okay. Bubble saw again. There's, there's a lot of them. Alright. Slurp half here. Okay. Things are looking pretty decent. Oh, things are stuck over here though. Okay. Munchlex. Power saw. Okay, so let's see. Can we shove the tomatoes in? Oh, the icons are stuck though. Oh, I just realized that we have to use Bubble Saw skill a set number of times. Oh, that's such a bummer. Oh. Do I really want to waste the 900 acorns for the 3 stars? Oh. Okay. Just. No. I don't think it's worth it. No. Not worth it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna retry. Yeah. I'm gonna quit this one. So let's retry on a regular note. Once I've gotten more hearts. <laughs> Alright, we're back with more hearts, so let's try this again. Okay, so we just have to let things flow naturally. Okay. Let's destroy as many of the vegetables as possible, or of course, you know, try to unclog whatever mess there is. So that's preventing the flow of icons. Alright, let's clear away more vegetables. Alright, we've got all the to all the tomatoes in right now. So that's a fantastic thing. Okay. Slow cough. Get out of the way. Munch next. Oh my goodness, and all the icons are stuck over here. So well, that's kind of a bummer. But that's okay. We've got this activated and we are done! Oh my god, I don't understand why we struggled so hard with this one. It's just the placement of certain things causes the icons to stick together, therefore, you know, things can go wrong very easily. Alright, so from this part of the video onwards, it's actually um, the very last day for Dragon Knight. Um, or rather, there is only one more day. It is still the 11th of August right now, at this part of the video. So I'm going to try rushing the mission cards. I don't know, I'm really on my last um, card. So I just have to clear skills and of course get that marvelous combo by, you know, attaching a buttload of <laughs> icons together so let's do that um, we don't have to use Dragonite anymore we can just use any other 
um, Pokemon recommended which is always good for clearing the stages as quickly as possible okay so 70,000 score required there's hidden pumpkins among those mayonnaise bubbles and of course there's honey as well and we've got to get the whipped cream out of the piping bag so all right let's get Mintinos because there's just a lot of them and they are the main Pokemon you know for the skills so let's clear as many as we can make sure that we don't you know trap any of the pumpkins uh, gotta open up as many of them as possible okay so we do have one over there on the right side and of course there's one that's floating all right i think we've got all the pumpkins out already so just clear the honey course if we can let's push this pumpkin down to join its friends so it's easier to clear all right so I mean Gino okay so the thing is if we could get that skill icon to the back row you know you could have like combo destroy all the pumpkins at one go that would be fantastic but you know certain things just don't go our way so we just gotta make the best of it okay so starly there's a lot of starly right now so let's just make use of starly to destroy the whipped creams uh i don't know can we can we squeeze all three there we go we're done wow we ended on it um way faster than expected look at all the acorns we earn yeah all right 45 placing not the best placing but you know how often do i play on this account uh so <laughs> on my switch though i'm like eighth ranking so can see how much time and effort I actually play this game um, on my own time I guess so let's clear blossoms because there's a whole bunch of them let's just free all of the crates from the ice if you rotate your icons well enough you should be able to do that easily the only problem is the Marshmallows that are stuck inside there. We do need score though, so let's just keep rotating icons for now. Alright, fantastic. Okay, let's grab this menu and squeeze in. Velocity. Now, there isn't a lot of uh, marshmallows being available for destruction right now so we can just go for the vegetables in the meantime all right let's do this we do need to summon a few megaphones oh my goodness none came out because of the narrow pathway that was horrible okay so let's go get the veggies can, oh I was hoping to get three crates. Alright. Okay. Oh, wasted a whole bunch of megaphones. But that's okay. Let's see. I can do three here. Alright, let's go with Pokemon Icons instead because Icons cover more area. There we go, we did it! With some moves remaining, so that's fantastic in my book. Alright. Oh, we're upgrading the cafe with more decorations. Ooh. Country. Executor? Yeah! So we have a chance to get Executor to join our cafe. Alright. 
Oh, he's already in line. Cool. Okay, so let's get some of the executor. Gotta grab whatever icons that has the most. Make use of the power of charging. Okay. There we go. Um I could send this in. Just like that. Gotta uncook some of the caramel. Pretty okay. Okay. Wanna uncoat that caramel that's in the oil? So, yes. And of course, destroying some of the caramel right there. Executor. Or trying to destroy the sugar cube. So, if we could. Yeah, there we go. Let's make use of the skill to destroy the megaphone. Which will in turn destroy the kernel. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> so if you play your cards right, or rather icons, um, you should be fine. Okay, moving along nicely. Let's go with Starly. Sixty thousand score for co uh, chestnuts, lots of caramel, and oh, a lot of megaphones needed though. So let's go with Kira Kirile. Hey, always have a hard time pronouncing this Pokemon's name. All right, let's just dig in a bit to review some of the icons. Okay. Seems like we're good. We can make use of this to destroy most of the Mayotte's bubbles. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Fantastic. Ooh, there's a lot of meow on this side though. Okay. Let's go in once again. Nicely done. Alright, let's use this megaphone. Set them free. Okay, there is a chestnut over on that center lane. So that's kind of a bummer. Oh, kind of wasted. Right, let's do this. Okay, um. Always not enough time. Starly over here. Okay, we don't have to destroy those two bubbles because those are not needed. Alright, all the items that we need to destroy are gone. So let's just swipe through everything just for the score. Alright, there we go. So not the best example, but we did clear it with a few moves um, left over, so still pretty okay. Here we have the first visit of Executor. <laughs> Look at his wobbly belly. And we've got another big boy right behind him. Munchlicks. All the heavy waiters. Standing in line together. 80,000 score, whipped cream, vegetables. Okay, so the middle portion of this stage is actually the most effective point to use Munchlax skill because it covers um, the two piping bags and the three vegetable crates. So that's what we want to do. Let's just gather as many icons as possible to charge up that skill 
Okay, we're not gonna use that yet. So let's do the same thing here. Okay, now we're gonna go in, like I mentioned. So there we go. Hitting all five. Alright, we've got another one. So let's do this again. Did I miss the crate at the bottom? Yes, I did. Okay. Hmm. Charmander? Alright, we've got all the whipped cream out. So let's just make use of the megaphone to destroy as many as possible. Okay. Charmander once more. If we could bring them all together, that would be great. But apparently, it doesn't work that easily. So let's try and get the score that we need. Okay. Let's do this. Because we need vegetables as well. Alright, so all we have to do now is just clear icons for score. Oh no! It was so close! Uh, okay, I'm gonna use the 900 acorns because it's so easily cleared. You just have to gather a few icons together and, you know, it should be done. There we go. Make the 900 worthwhile. I mean, it is possible to clear that stage without, you know, having the acorn retry. But we are so close to finishing it up, so why not? Since we have a bunch of acorns on hand. All right, big boy, Dragonite, let's go. So not many stages so far that helps to get marvelous um, scoring, I suppose. Oh, okay. So this is one of those stages that is really, really tough to complete. Okay. So let's just be tactful. Alright. Okay. The blossom is the way to go here. Let's clear as many of the marshmallows as possible. Okay, squirtle. Alright, let's do this. Gonna burst a whole range of icons with you know squirtle skill. Okay, while charging up the skill, let's just get more acorns destroyed. I keep saying acorns, although they are popcorn kernels though. Just bad habit. Alright, that's it. Let's combine these again. Let me get all of them. Can we not? Ooh, we've got a problem. There are still some that are floating in the air. So, yeah, that's going to be a real problem. Yeah, we're gonna end up retrying. So this this is the main issue with this stage, is that if you don't burst the bubbles as soon as you can. Let's try this again. Hopefully don't mess up too badly. <laughs> or at least end on a, a good note, I suppose. Lots of blossoms. Let's make use of them. Squirtles now. Why am I always not hitting that one particular <laughs> bubble? Alright, let's burst all of them there. Ooh. Okay, let's just go for the honey first. Because the honey is extremely dangerous, it is gonna take up space. Alright, there we go. Okay, let's 
try to get as many of the marshmallows that are out of the way. Okay, now for here. There we go. Let's combine this. Clear the top row first. Okay. I think we can just go for the marshmallows first. Alright. Are the megaphones enough? No, 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 no. Okay, that was a bad idea. We are still short of one, but that's okay. I'm just gonna do this right now because we're just one away. Why, why struggle too hard just to clear a stage if we can afford to carry on? Alright. Oh, he comes in with friendship bonus. Do our best to get that multiplier. Right, and it's the last stage we're handling for this episode too. Hopefully it's not too difficult of a level. Oh we need Meowth. Oh, we don't have Meowth. Okay. From my knowledge, Meowth destroys things towards the left. So we just have to find a Pokemon that does the same thing. There we go, Nichino. Technically the same, but Meowth has a larger range. Uh, while Minchino is, you know, it goes for distance. Ooh, this looks pretty easy. Oh my goodness, I need a combo of 40. Which will give us that marvelous clear if we do things right. Alright, the baskets are all on the right, left side, sorry. Let's see if we can get all three. I think we got them. There we go. So we just have to push the tomatoes in. There we go. Clearing away. Let's get this tomato up there. I said up there. So stay there. <laughs> okay. In you go. Alright, let's go for that 40. Fantastic. Oh! I didn't know this stage has so little moves. Ooh. Okay. We're gonna try this again. Oh. Oh, if we want the star bonus, we have to keep going. Oh, this is the first episode that I have to pay so many 900 acorns. Uh, okay, I'm just going to go for it because we can afford it. But, you know, guys, if you can risk not paying it, like, um, you know, if you don't mind giving away the friendship bonus and just clear it as a regular one star or two star stage, just go for that. You know, but I'm a bit desperate, kind of. Because I want to end this episode as quickly as possible. So yeah, this is a, it's just a very rash move on my part. But we earn 6 stars for Eevee, so I guess it's okay, kinda. <laughs> Alright, we got something added to the cafe. A shaker. Oh, I'm gonna have milkshakes now. There's a shaker, let's mix some milk and berries. I don't think anyone makes milkshakes like that anymore. Oh, we cleared a card. Mission. So, go. Oh, we still need to use 17 cafe skills to complete the card. Ooh, 1000 acorn is very tempting though. Oh, but I want to end the episode here. Okay, I'm gonna end it here. Um. Probably gonna continue tomorrow and miss out on the mission card. So that's kind of a bummer. But 
as of this date that I said uh, uh, somewhere in the middle portion of this episode, it is already the 11th of August. It's the last day for Dragon Knight. Then tomorrow, Guki comes in to join us. So look forward to that. Of course, um, by the time you watch this episode, it might be the 12th of August already. So maybe, maybe the next day, um, I guess the 13th of August, that you'll probably see the episode with the Goki inside it. So yeah. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on another episode. Uh, I apologize that this episode took a lot longer than <laughs> expected to release because I uh, don't have a lot of time to play with all the events going around me right now. So yeah, thank you guys so much for your patience and understanding as always. And hopefully you guys are doing well with your own game. Yeah, as always, you can let me know in the comments down below how you guys are doing. What do you guys think of the event Pokemon? How, what do you guys think of Dragonite's skill? Uh, did you clear all Dragonite's mission cards? You know, that kind of stuff. And maybe if you guys did very very well in the, you know, Grand Prix, maybe you rank 1st, 2nd, 3rd or top 3, top 10, let me know as well in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys uh, in another, another day for another episode. Uh, soon, I promise you. <laughs> Until then, bye!